Sifu Andrew Platt and today um, I want to take a few moments just to go through the uh, our Splashing Hands syllabus. Okay, so this syllabus has five levels. Um, I'm just going to talk to you very quickly for each one. I'm not going to include everything that's in the syllabus. Um, I'm just going to go through the main uh, drilling practices for you today. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the first level, the basic level or the white belt. Um, and what that means is you get to drill all the basics. Okay, you're going to learn all the basics in a standing position. So the standing posture for both foot, both feet 45 degrees, um, and starting right side out. The waist turn again 45 degrees to the left, if not more, keeping a nice close target here. Um, so there's less to hit here, and the hands up in a relaxed, open state. Okay, so now all the drills, some of them have been touched on on the other videos we've got, but on this drill, uh, we're just going to quickly go through all the different ones. So we have the jab punch, alright, so hands up on the guard, the hands come out, we hit the shoulder, followed by a punch and then a roll. The roll and the reset is very important in splash and it should be practiced with just the most importance as the rest of the movement. So we're going to start here with jab, punch, this way. Do that to the side. Okay, and that can be done on both sides, right side, left side, out. Good, uh, okay, so the next one is the punch jab. Punch jab goes left, right, this way. So we start again, right side, out, go left, go right. Young from the side. And again, coming back to a rolling stance here, okay? Again, let's practice this on the left side as well. Now, uh, the next one is a jab punch uppercut, okay? So we're gonna jab, punch, and uppercut. So we uppercut the turn of the foot, and if you can see on this video, but the foot turns in this way. Guess what, Three, reset. Three. To the side. Again, this starts on both sides, so you can do it on the left and the right. Uh, the next one will be from the add ons that we've done before is the jab, punch, and then the forearm down this way. Okay, open hand on the fourth one, two, three. This way. Again, from the side. And again, do this on the left side as well. Uh, moving on from that one, okay, so these are the uncommon ones, but these are the ones I put in the syllabus. So we jab, punch, hit to the side, blocking the face here and back to the roll. Again, you turn the foot on the way to the box. And again, from this way, two and three, turn the foot. See the hand closes here at the end this way, and again, on the left side as well. So now this way on the outside, one, two, three. So we're hitting this way, covering the face. On the side. This way. Okay, so we've got four directions there. So uh, we can turn this into this here by turning up this way, okay? Don't bring the elbow up, not bring the shoulder up, just the hand here. Or one. This way. Again, from the side, this way. Turn the foot as we go. And again, on the left side, as usual. So, from those two, uh, we also have the up punch uh, this way. So, hitting down to the down to the ribs here. Two, and then turn the foot as well and punch down low with the fist. This way. Covering the face. Always covering the face. This way. Okay? And of course, the hammer fist. One, two, Three, hit here, this side, at the bottom. Do that two from the side, two, and three, this side, and this side, and this side. And again with the roll on the end of each one. Okay, so there are our add ons. Uh, it's a couple of holes as well, the rolling punch, which isn't in the other drills. So we block down, block down. And punch to the head with a closed fist. Again, using the waist. One, two, three, four. This way. And the idea with this is you're blocking, palm down, this way the arm. One, moving up the arm to the elbow and punch to the face. Again. 
no foot turn on that one. Um, okay, drop punches as well. Again, one that's not used too much is down. Using the Phoenix fist, down this way. So we've got two. And again with the roll. This way. Okay. All right, so moving on to the blocks. So there are all the add-ons, now we do the blocks. But we've got inner block, nice and simple. I'm going to do it with a jab punch. You can do it without or with. So you just do the block here, or you can put the jab punch on. Make sure you don't block with the thumb. Bring the thumb in like this, so you hit it with a ridge hand. Nice and strong. We turn, we don't go over here, just here in the straight. One, and we don't pull back, we go straight out. Okay, let's so do it from the side. So we've got here, we don't pull back, we go one, straight out, two, this way. Okay, it's the same for outer block. It's the same, block the hand, cover the hand here, tuck it in, ridge hand, this way. Just enough to move the arm out of the way and then straight in. From the side, back to the middle. Okay, so now we've done inner, outer, we go down. Knife hand block. Don't bend the wrist, keep the wrist straight. Block down, use the waist, and straight back up. Don't come back in and out. Show you from the side in a minute. We go down here, we hit straight back up, punch one. Using the left hand to cover the face here. At the same time, always cover top and bottom. Okay, so we hit down, we don't go in, we go straight up. One, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. Back to the middle. Okay, now we've got upper block. Don't go one, two, just straight up one and then down. Two, this way. Okay, we up, straight down, punch. One, two, three. This way. Okay, we we'll roll obviously on the ends again in both sides. Uh, we can then do double blocks. We can go up and then down and then jab punch. One, two, one, two, one, two. Watch as the hand stays down here and blocked up here as we hit the bottom and switch to a jab punch. Go from the side. One, two, three. Watch the hand. One, two, change. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This way. Okay. So there are four major blocks with a double block as well. Now, we can also do a rolling block this way. So we block the left, at the top of the right hook, and then jab punch, one, two, hook from the hand, straight up, two. Again, as this one goes here, we cover the face with this one, this one covers down, this one covers the face, and we go up, jab punch. So all bases are covered down. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Here again, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So that can be used for a kick, or an uppercut, or even a punch this way. We can do here as well. So this is a 45 degree block from Browns. In the block here, we come out 45 degrees with the left, and then jab punch. One, two, one, two, one, two. Make sure we roll at the end here. Okay, I'm sure you're gonna say one, two, three. In the block, 45 block, jab punch to the head. One, one, one. Okay, nice and simple. So there are our blocks. Again, you can do them with or without the jab punch. Um, Find the kicks. Uh, kicks with a nice little section. So weight on the back leg this way. Hey, stay level, very important. We in the block with these. We in the block with a front kick this way. Jab punch on the end. Okay, it's important to keep the legs straight, toes pointed out from the side. We can do that on both sides. Now, back leg kick from the right side. We kick to the left this way. We block with the same part, oh, we block with this hand. If you can block with this hand, we're gonna block with this hand. This way, jab punch, jab punch, jab punch, jab punch. You're gonna keep the legs straight, kick as high as you can, and make sure the leg doesn't bend, keep the head level. Oh, this way. Nice and simple. So front leg stiffly, back leg stiff kick. Now, uh, donkey kicks, we can cross step here, if we're gonna block, stand. Kicks now you can turn, jab, punch. Again, do the slow so you get the technique here. T stance, stand, kicks how you can, jab, punch. We'll do it from the side. One, two. Okay, nice easy one that one. You can also do the uh, donkey kick from the front. So spin on the toes here, kick, step back, jab, punch. Spin in the block, 
Yeah. Jab, push. Keep the hand on. Yeah. Kick. Jab, push. From the side. Spin on the toes here. Kick. Jab, push. Okay, spin on the toes, kick, step back, jab, punch. Okay, so they're all our basic drills today. Uh, so we've got all the jab punches, punch jabs, rolling blocks, and all the add-ons, and the kicks, and the blocks as well. Now, it's very important to make sure we do both sides as equally. So if you drill 100 to 500 on the right side, you must change, do 500 on the left side, okay? If you're not very good on the left side, you could do twice as many to make sure you even it out. But it's very important you do both sides equally. Again, it's very important to be in a static posture to work on the body mechanics of the move and really feel where the motion is coming from. Always hit down the centre line of yourself. When practising open hand drilling, you practice down your line. So if I hit the head, it's my head. If you hit down the centre, it's my centre. You're not looking to fight anyone taller or smaller at the moment, just practising on your level. Okay, we hit the ribs it's here, head here, yeah, groin down here, always covering the face as well on each one of these. Make sure you breathe as well, breathe is very important. Don't forget to breathe when you drill. So we're rushing for it today. Um, yeah, and that's about it really. So in the also in the first first section of the syllabus, you will learn movement drills such as reverse shuffle with the jab punch, uh, close the gap, back shuffle, all the up and down drillings if you've not seen them before. We might go through them in the future, but obviously come in and see for yourself. Um, in terms of our syllabus, we have two options that you can do to come and learn with us. There is our uh, weekly sessions at Tuesday night, which is £5 per session. You come in and you learn with everyone else, you'll learn up to your standard. So let's say um, we're going to do jab punch, people on level 1 will do jab punch, people on level 2 will do shovel jab punch, people on level 3 will do drop shovel jab punch and so on. So everybody at the same level can train equally, but on a difficulty that's uh, available to them for each one. So we always do half an hour drilling, half an hour of forms. Forms in level one have the up and down movements. Okay, like the close the gap, jab punch, reverse shuffle, jab punch, etc. Um, you can combine these as well. Make sure you can put jab punch in all those drills. So we've got inner block jab punch, inner block punch jab. So you're doubling up there as well. So we've got double combinations. Um, yeah, our, our other option for our course is uh, it's a, it's a five-day course, uh, five hours each day, so that's very intensive training. So that works out about 25 hours per week, and you only come in once, and you smash the whole session, you do the five hours, five days a week, um, and you'll learn the entire grade. Okay, so at the end of it, um, we'll look through all your things, and we'll give you the first grade or white sash or white, white certificate, whatever. Um, you want and then that's that will be your thing so if you've done that and you come into the second one another five weeks of 25 or five days of 25 hours and then you'll get your second grade and so on and so on obviously that costs a little bit more it works out just about 20 pounds per hour um, which is pretty good by any martial arts standards for teaching especially one-to-one -one. Uh, for the uh, also to mention in this class in this course for the whole syllabus won't just be the open head air drilling, you will learn how to use pads, bags, and applications for every technique you learn, which means you can quite happily go away with a complete first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, and be able to practice everything you need for that grade. Each grade is completely useful for, you don't need the second grade to do things, you can just do the first grade, and you'll be able to use these techniques very, very well, and progress them on your own time. If you do want to learn the second grade, you will obviously learn more advanced techniques for the same movements that you can then apply to a much faster, faster skill. For example, the shuffle. Having power here in the speed is good, but when you put it in with the shuffle, then it becomes even quicker and more powerful. Because you can get a lot of power from here, but if you use the feet, you generate power from foot to hand and putting in the internal swing of the Yeah, so we add an extra things in and you will learn to upgrade power and speed through that. So it's very useful to keep keep grading. I um, hope that's been useful for you. So I'm going to follow up on the videos with a separate one for each, each of the grades. Um, so keep your eyes out and uh, have practicing and try and come in and learn if you can. Thank you very much. Take care.